In this video, we're going over the vision transformer, and it won't require understanding all the details of this diagram. A transformer is a special kind of neural network that powers large language models like GPT. It was developed in 2017 and was presented with the paper Attention is All You Need from Google. And in 2021, Google developed the vision transformer for processing images instead of text. What's crazy is that vision transformers can now perform CNNs, or convolutional neural networks, the go-to model for image classification. Attention is the main mechanism in a transformer that makes the model so effective at processing sequences. The model learns which parts of the sequence are important to well pay attention to. In processing text, this means that the model might associate adjectives and nouns, and with the vision transformer, the model pays attention to the most important parts of the image. Before we go over how this actually works, this is your reminder to sign up for GPT Insiders so that you don't miss our next edition. GPT Insiders is my free emailing list where each day I share a different insight or resource for your ML journey. No spam, just valuable tips and resources. You can sign up at the link in the description. Let's get into it. We're going to treat the transformer as a black box. Let's focus on the inputs and the outputs. The input is always a sequence, in the case of GPT, a sequence of words or tokens, where each is represented as a number. How can we break an image down into a sequence? One option is to pass in every single pixel as an integer, but for an image that's 100 by 100, which is still a very low resolution, the sequence would have 10,000 elements. This is infeasible since the computational cost of attention is n squared, where n is the length of the input sequence. The solution is to break the image into patches, so our input sequence's length is now equal to the number of patches. This would just be the size of the image divided by the size of a single p by p patch. At each entry in the input sequence, we have a vector, which is just the patch flattened into a 1D list. The patch size is critical. If we make the patches too small, the sequence will be too long and compute demands will be too high. If we make the patches too large, the sequence will be shorter and compute demands will be less, but we risk oversimplifying the input and obscuring important information from the model. The optimal patch size can be found experimentally. In summary, the transformer always takes in a sequence of length n with a vector for each entry in the sequence. But what about the output? After the model performs its calculations, the transformer outputs another sequence of n different vectors. But what if our goal is to use the model for image classification? We might want to classify the input image as a dog, cat, or bird. There are ways that we can force the model to output vectors of size 3, where each entry corresponds to a probability. But we have n different vectors. Which vector do we consider to be the model's prediction? The solution is to prepend the input sequence with another dummy vector. Then we can look at the model's output vector for that corresponding index. This is the model prediction, which will be improved over many iterations of training. And that's the gist of vision transformers. There is one catch though. Vision transformers must be trained on extremely large amounts of data to outperform CNNs. On the other hand, they require substantially less compute to train. The bottom line is that while vision transformers are extremely powerful and promising, CNNs aren't going away anytime soon. If you're interested in a deeper discussion of the vision transformer, I have a huge announcement for you. The beginner's blueprint is finally available. This is the exact study plan I wish I had when I was first getting started with machine learning. Everyone told me to read papers, but I had no idea which papers to read. Once I figured that out, I had no idea how to understand them, dissect them, much less implement them and code up the main concepts. And lastly, Workday was a nightmare. I had no idea how to present these projects on my resume and actually land more interviews. The Beginner's Blueprint will solve all of these problems for you so that you can make progress faster than I did. Take it from someone like Amit from the IIT Madras class of 2025. I personally provided him with a roadmap helping him get started with the implementation ASAP. Or Shekhar, he's an NLP expert and his personal favorite resources are our ML programming questions, which are accessible for free. Lastly, someone like Chang, he's an ex-Yahoo AI ML engineer and he knows his stuff. It's been a blast making videos on this channel for the last year and I'm excited to help even more of you with premium personalized instruction. Our launch sale is now active and you can secure the entire blueprint for 50% off. Head to the link in the description to learn more, and I'll see you on the other side.